my name is Mario Barrenechea, and I'm going to demonstrate part two of the um, OnSystex data provider for .NET. This uh, video is going to demonstrate how we interact with existing Unidata files, uh, with uh, opening records, record locking, and how you can go about uh, reading multi-values and comma delimited text and making it work for you on your ASP.NET application. So in front of you, you have the actual project called Test PDF. So we extended the, uh, uh, the previous solution to show uh, interaction with the user's file, which we created manually. And if we go into the actual um, account, you can see that the user's file, uh, we have replicated it from the snapshot that we took uh, last week. And if we edit the records, then you can see uh, that, you know, attribute one for this demo, for demonstration purposes, we made it um, the, um, the module uh, separated by commas. And in attribute two, we have, I guess, the, the, the warehouse uh, that this user ID is, um, is authorized to access. So we just created a few of them just to... Uh, uh, build some records. I think uh, that in your example, these attributes would have mapped to something uh, something else, something different, but for demonstration purposes, we just did it this way, just to keep it simple, but pretty much the concept is the same. So, if we do a list dict of users, uh, you will see that those are the dictionary definitions, and we, we list in modules oe.whsc, uh, then you can see the uh, the, the list of those records with the modules allowed and the OE um, warehouse. Okay, so now we're good to go. Uh, just so to recap, the way that uh, we enable these accounts to, uh, to, to, how do we provide access or .NET access to these accounts is a very simple process. We go to the uh, administrator and in the administrator tool, we will um, enable the actual uh, account that we're going to be using. So in this case, just to recap, the host name that we're attaching to is my look is a um, is a local machine here in our lab. The port that is listed in 23469, user ID and password. So this is consistent with the parameters that get passed on to the connectivity object. Again, first thing that you want to do is make sure it tests and then that tells you that that connection is okay and you're ready to go. Next thing that we did is we add remove the accounts. Uh, this is very familiar from the previous one, uh, previous demonstration. So you have the enabled accounts, in this case, BA, which is the account that we're going to be working with. Now, if you look at BA, when I click click on it, we created, you know, three additional files just to support the, um, the, the, the demonstration that we're going to be uh, doing with uh, the program. So we have the modules. Um, we just created a module uh, file. Uh, the users file and the um, uh, warehouse file, just so we can support, you know, some validations and so forth. We also extended a couple of programs like Git modules, for example, and the Git modules is a uh, pretty straightforward basic program that does the reading uh, of the modules and then it writes them, you know, when it's doing the actual updates. So this is all, you know, part of um, the interactivity between .NET and basic programs that is very straightforward. You can just execute any basic program or you can pass parameters to um, to, to these uh, subroutines as arguments. Okay, so then once now, now that we have the basics, then we can go ahead and uh, and make sure that we have, uh, we can test our .NET uh, program. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to launch the program and uh, it's going to launch in local local mode. And if you recall, this is the first uh, PDF that we did, and now we have this uh, link to auto remove records, and it has populated the um, the form. Uh, this is not the most prettiest of forms, but it's very functional, and it just gives you an idea of the things that you can do with .NET and ASP.NET. The dropdown represents all the records in that user's file, and this gets populated by the select. Uh, the, the select that gets sent to the server and then it, it, it populates it right away. As soon as I select any of these records, you will see 
that these checkboxes get filled out. So uh, the modules allowed are uh, comma delimited. Uh, it's like an attribute with comma delimited, and we're parsing it in .NET to make sure that you know it represents whatever it needs to represent. And in the warehouse side, these are multi-value definitions. So I can just select any of these, and you will see that here it's populated in one and two. And we have done you know a couple of things that we can actually save record and when then we can update it as well. Now, the most important thing about this is that, as I mentioned in an earlier demo, all the record locking is, is honored, right? So if, if anybody is editing a record and some, I try to access from the .NET side, it's going to give me an error. It's going to tell me that the record is locked. So this is very important when you write an application, especially when you have to deal with, with, um, with uh, transactional type applications where uh, record uh, record locking is uh, is very important. So this is it. This is the form. Uh, it's fully functional. It's all written in uh, ASP.NET. And as you can see, I select any of this. It's, uh, it's actually rendering the, the proper um, uh, fields. And if I add anything else uh, or tag them, I see them. And it's actually writing it to the actual record. So I hope you like it. And if you have any more questions, we'll be, we'll be more than happy to show you uh, how this um, uh, demo was put together, but at least it gives you an idea that it's very easy to use and um, and it's very, very functional. So the uh, source code is here. Uh, just going through it, um, here you can see the select uh, statement uh, being passed to the server. Obviously a lot of error, error checking and uh, then reading the records, um, uh, some of the some of the basic functions that are available. I mean, it is all part of this um, of this uh, application that we've uh, we've created to demonstrate the functionality of the .NET data provider. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me directly. Thank you.